Hello, thank you for joining and welcome to Globalscape's EFT server tutorial on changing your web transfer client and plain text client logo. Just a couple things to keep in mind before we get started. It's recommended to apply the customizations in your custom folder and not the public. Basically, what this will avoid is any type of scenarios where you need to roll back your changes. The default settings will still remain the same and be there. All you need to do is just undo the custom settings. Also, to avoid any scaling issues, make sure that your custom logo is the same size as the default EFT banner and logo. Alright, so let's get started by analyzing the folder structure. The basic steps here is that we want to check the folder structure for the EFT web resources. And the way to do that, we want to go to the C drive, program files, globalscape, EFT server, web and then you'll notice three folders here unsigned jars public and custom we're going to ignore unsigned jars because we're not going to be modifying in this folder the two folders that we want to focus on is custom and public so public is going to contain the default files let's go ahead and take a look at this so if we go into public eft client you'll notice the ptc and wtc folders let's go into the wtc if you go into the WTC, you'll notice the EFT-logo.png, which is the default logo for the Web Transfer Client page. Let's back up and go to the PTC folder. If you go into the PTC folder and look at banner.png, you'll find the default logo for the plain text client. All right, so now that we know what our default files are. Let's back up to the web folder. The basic instruction for applying these customizations is that we want to replicate the folder structure. So if we go to public, we'll find EFT client, PTC, and WTC. These are only two folders that we're going to be modifying the web resources in. So let's go back to the web folder and go into the custom folder. I've already created the EFT client directory here. So if we go into this folder, we'll find the PTC and WTC folder. Each of these will contain the exact file name and image of the logo. Now to avoid scaling issues, it's important that the size of the image match what the default logo is, which is 320 by 63. And that's going to be the same for the web transfer client. Is 320 by 63 pixels. Okay. So this is good to go. This is already prepped. All we need to do at this point is copy the EFT client into the custom folder. I'm going to select copy and I'm going to paste the folder here. And then I'm going to bring up the web page as you can see here it's gonna have the default logo and then we're going to refresh and as you can see our custom logo has popped up so let's go ahead and log into the plain text client as you can see the custom logo has been applied to the plain text client and then we'll log into the web transfer client. Also, this has been updated as well. So these are the basic steps for updating the company logo for the web transfer client, the plain text client, and the login page. Thank you for joining. You have a good day.